all right uh, doing this problem called random flip matrix let's have a read given a m cross n binary grid matrix uh, with all the values set to zero initially okay design an algorithm to randomly pick an index ij where matrix ij equals to zero and flip it to one okay so we have to pick one index which is non-zero and flip it to one Sorry, which is zero and flip it to one. All indices i z where matrix i z equals zero should be equally likely to be returned. So we have to only pick an index which is zero. So the ones which have been converted to ones, they are not have to be picked. Okay. Optimize the algorithm to minimize the number of calls made to the built-in random function of a language and optimize time and space completely. So basically optimize everything. Implement the solution class. Solution this initializes the object with the size of the binary matrix. A uh, flip returns a random index i z of the matrix where matrix i z equals to zero and flips it to one and research it research the values of the matrix to be all zero. Okay. So first things. Okay, let's come to uh, whiteboard. Now first thing is so given a 2D matrix, right? Given a 2D matrix and if I have to get a random number, I can basically if if this matrix has M cross n elements, then basically I can generate a random number between anywhere between 0 to M cross n minus 1, right? And then whatever number I get, I can convert it into an ij format, right? So, and that's that comes, comes from the fact that any 2D matrix essentially you could represent as a 1D matrix, right? So, for example, essentially uh, you could have 0, 1, 2, 3, and then 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, right? So 0, 0 would map to this, 0, 1, essentially this. So so for us, uh, so meaning this, what <clears throat> if it really, what it really means is that uh, given x, your row equals to, let's say if it is m cross n, where n is the number of columns, then row equals to uh, x by n, right? And your column will be x, percentile n right you can put for anything so if you do for five in this this is a matrix which is what three cross four so the number of columns are four so every row has four columns that's why you divide by four you get the row number right so in this case five by four is one so your row number is one and then within that row if you do percentile n so five percentile um four is one again so that is why you're on the first column so the, the short point is essentially you should be able to get uh, you generate a random number and then from that random number you can get to an uh, an ing instead of say generating a random row and then a random column you could generate a single random number and return and and convert that into the <clears throat> in its mapping into the 2d matrix that's one bit now second bit is how so so let's do the representation in a single 1d format itself right so so let's say uh, I have a matrix to begin with, which is all zeros, right? So I'm really more interested in the index rather. So uh, so I have a matrix and I'm just representing its indexes. Let's say I have this matrix and, and they're essentially all zeros, but I'm just mentioning the indexes here. And I generate a random number and let's say I land on three, right? So that whatever three maps to in the 2D matrix, I'll convert that to one and I'll return that uh, and now next time I have to not include this three, which is where the problem is. So I know, so earlier I had eight numbers and then I could generate from one zero to seven. Now I have seven numbers left. I get a random number between zero to six, but how do I exclude this guy in the middle or other multiple guys in the middle that have been uh, converted to ones? So one way could be, okay, I got this I convert it to one. Now what I want to do is, is I uh, remove this, right, somehow. So I, if I can maintain my mappings, um, so let's say, so initially, it's okay. So initially, what I'm thinking like is, initially, let's say I maintain a mapping of index to index. So I, it's, let's say it's so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They all mapped to the same thing, right? And now when you get this three as a random index, now you want to remove this three. So just remove this three. And what it essentially means, that means is shift all of these here. So make it something like, 
zero one two three four five six now i have one less and this three is removed so they all will actually map to zero one two and four five six seven right so these are your actual indexes and this is the virtual indexing so we are adding another level of indirection essentially and now when you get a random number out of this let's say the random number that you get is four here right so that means this five will be converted to one and you want to shift these things here so this will then change to again so zero one two three four five and you will shift so zero one two four five has been removed six and seven and that is how you will keep doing things now but if we talk about the time complexity essentially so you're you're taking a virtual index a virtual array to address the actual indexes and then whenever you get you shift right but shifting is linear now we are shifting because we are trying to maintain the order but maintaining the order is really not that important right what i mean by that is when here we got three we wanted to just delete this three and to delete this three we shifted everything else but instead of shifting everything else what if we just replaced this three with this seven the last guy yes the order changed but order doesn't matter right and that can be done in o of one instead of actual shifting so again here when you get uh, this index four and you are removing this five instead of like shifting it to making it six seven you could just you could have just uh, uh, swapped so this six would have remained six and this this would just have become seven and this would become six so just just to explain again but the, i think the concept is clear so initially i go with the same things 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 i get a random index let's say 3 so what i do is this okay 3 has to go away so i change one element is reduced and this 3 will become 7 all right and then let's say again i do random again i get 3 so that means okay now the 7 is gone i have to re reduce my size and i'll replace it with 6 right and this all the, everything is happening in o of 1 now let's say i do a random number to this point i let's say get one okay so that would mean is okay this corresponding index to one that will get uh, replaced to one and size has to reduce whatever is the last guy put it here five and and that is how i can do it in o of one all right let's come to code and and so now one bit before coming to code so essentially what we are doing initially is we are mapping indexes to indexes right there is a mapping from index to index and Initially, that mapping is all one to one, like zero maps to zero, one maps to one, two maps to two, three maps to three. If we have to actually do that initializing, then it will take us n cross m times. So we could actually avoid that. Initially, we could say, hey, if the mapping does not exist, then by definition, it means they, it maps to itself, right? And then only if the definition uh, has to be updated, then we'll update it. So let's come to the code now. So what we're saying is, what we are doing is we are mapping index to index. So we'll generate like a hash map from uh, integer to integer, right? Let's call it map and we'll initialize it in here. So map equals to new hash map. And we are also maintaining the size upon a number of zeros, right? So we're also maintaining number of zeros. So uh, then we'll just call it zeros, right? And uh, the zeros are uh, initially they are m cross n. And now when you say flip, what I'm doing is this: I am getting a first of all a random number. So int uh, uh, random int r equals to i think to get a random i need some random class right uh, so that also maybe we define outside so uh, random r random run and we can do just a new random 
or rather you know what i don't even i feel like i don't need i think there is a math uh, so in let me search okay math dot random shout outs is there a is it value between 0 and 1 okay so maybe not this one i need like a maybe this is a better i think there is a something called like a next int so you define a random class and you define a next int with this bound this is what we'll use zero is inclusive and the specified value is exclusive so then let's use this so we have and uh, and we'll use new uh, random and then it goes to and uh, just get some integer and that integer has to be bit, uh, bit till the number of zeros that we have right and it will give minus one so zero to this minus one yeah so we get this number now in our virtual array this is the guy that we want to replace so what is it actually mapped to so in actual this actual <laughs> it maps to uh, this map dot get or it could not have been mapped so uh, get or default uh, so either it will be present or it will be it or we'll take it as a set. this is what it actually maps to right so we'll have to return now whatever that we have to return equals to um, now i and j we can do easily so let's save what uh, Let's save the number of columns as well. Right, so, so when you're returning, we have to return a uh, new uh, actual divide by n will be the row and actual percentile n will be the column. And we can return this. But there is something else to do now. We have to reduce the number of zeros, right? And before that, we might wanna bring in whatever is at the last index, which is, so we'll do, and we'll put it here. Swap, we don't, we don't really, we just need to copy the last guy over to this position. So, because anyways, we're reducing the size. So putting this guy to the last doesn't really make any thing. So what I do is uh, map dot put uh, whatever the position was in the virtual array. I want to put here the last guy. So the last guy would be what? Uh, in the zeros minus one. And it could also be just zero minus one. So whatever is the last guy, I bring that guy here. And then I reduce my total number of zeros and I return this. Now come to reset. So when I have to reset, that means I have to make everybody zero. Um, that would mean that uh, I just initialize my map array. So is there a something called map dot clear? Let's do in Java. So hash map Java docs. Yeah, there is a there is a function called clear. So okay, where is it? Yeah. So we do map dot clear, which will and what and zeros. So I you all maybe then also save m as well in n m and m equals to m. So zeros equals to m cross n. What else was done? So map is fine, zeros is set, and num can remain the same, and then m just can remain the same. Okay, run. And we get a compilation error. It's random.
Oke, okay, selamat. And it works. <laughs>